These are genius hair products every woman needs, or at least needs to try. I, I really have something for every single hair type in this video. I've really stepped outside the box. Wait till you see some of these things, but everything will be linked down below in the description box and pinned in the comment section. Up uh, first, we have something that looks so stupid. It looks so dumb. It looks so gimmicky. It is not. It's genius. And I'm just gonna briefly touch upon it right now because you're gonna actually see me use it throughout the video in so many different ways. Like I did not expect there to be so many different uses for this. So it's basically like a hair drying bonnet with like a long tube thing. You just stick your hair dryer in there and there's little holes through the tube and it heats up on your head. And let me like, just stay tuned. There's so many ways you can use this. The next genius hair product that I really feel like everyone should try is the Vegamore Grow Hair Serum. I am obsessed with this. I use it literally every single day. And so I'm always thrilled to team up with them for a video because it's just, again, it's just like a genius product that you actually see a, a visible difference, like a before and after if you use it consistently. So again, this this is the Grow Hair Serum. It's my favorite product they have, although there are some others that I, I also love. I'm gonna have them linked down below. If you wanna peruse their site, click around, look at the before and after photos on their site, maybe read the reviews, but my code SHAY will give you 20% off site-wide. So um, again, though, this is what I use every single day, and I'm gonna show you my before photos. I like, I like to show this just to kind of see like what I used to deal with. Um, I've pulled these photos from my old Facebook page, some old YouTube videos. It was very, very rare that I would ever put my hair up. I'm honestly shocked that I was able to find these photos because it was so mortifying to me of how like thin and sparse my hairline was. And so this is what it looks like now. I can pull my hair back completely normal. It's so much thicker. My hairline is so much denser. It's so much more filled in. It's just normal. It's so much better. So um, again, I use this every single day. My routine is to use it at night. You could use it in the morning. It's just a clear serum. It doesn't make your hair greasy or oily. So again, if you want to use it in the morning, that's totally fine. But I just disperse it along my hairline a little bit back on my scalp, just anywhere you have problem areas, or you kind of just put it everywhere and rub it in. And again, I keep saying this, but consistency is key. Do not, I'm just gonna be honest, like do not buy this if you're go not going to use it every single day. So one bottle, will last you one month. Now you can just get one bottle and give it a go, see how you feel about it. That's totally fine. But I do always just to, I like to recommend or at least let you guys know that they do have a three pack that is a little bit more discounted. It just makes sense sometimes in my opinion to maybe get the three pack because since you're gonna see results around month two, it just seems like if you're really gonna tr give this a go, the three pack would be good, but do whatever you wanna do. But this is clean, cruelty-free, really healthy ingredients like turmeric, curcumin, you know, um, mung bean, red clover. I feel really good about, about this product, but again, totally genius. Uh, if you use it consistently, you, you will love it. The next hair product that I think is really unique. I'm sure you've heard of it before, but I don't think a lot of you have it, but it's a 100% boar bristle hairbrush. Now I do not think you should be always brushing your hair with this. I think it does make your hair really shiny, um, but it's so thick and dense that it doesn't get out the knots very well. It's like hard to like really brush your hair with it. But the reason I, I have it and I use it is for when my hair is very, very greasy. So if your hair is oily and greasy and you're gonna go to bed and maybe wash your hair in the morning, take a boar bristle brush and slowly brush through your hair and it really works well to distribute the natural hair oils from your scalp all down your hair shaft. And it's just, it's so good for your hair to do this. Um, if you like to slick your hair back, it's also great for doing that because it just, it just really does slick your hair back well. Um, but this is super cheap, very inexpensive, and it's, it's good, it's good just to have. Next, I wanna talk to those that have very wavy or curly hair. And believe it or not, my hair can get pretty darn wavy and kind of curly. So here is me um, using some of my favorite curl products. I can link them below if you're interested, but I like to use a, a mousse. Uh, well, actually I usually start with like a curl cream and I go like, I do, I use a lot, a curl cream. Then I go in with like a, a mousse and I will scrunch it up and just like really leaving like the, you want to leave the curls 
very chunky. Yeah, I guess that's what you wanna call it. And then I like to top it off with gel. And so there's kind of a trick to this that I wanted to bestow upon you. I'm sure a lot of you already know this if you have curly hair, but I think I think there's so many people out there that don't even realize they could do this with their hair. Use gel, and, and I know a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, it's so crunchy though. It's, it looks so wet and crunchy, and I have a complete hack and trick how to fix this. But I think it's also wise to get a diffuser if you have one, and my trick here is to actually only turn on the diffuser once it's already kind of up in your hair, like the hair's already scrunched up in it. So you kind of just have to work slowly turning it on and off. And then that way you get so much less frizz. And then another trick and I guess hack that I, I just tested out and it actually worked really well. Use this thing. Oh my gosh, it actually works. So put your hair in this, okay? And then all you do is, you know, kind of tighten it around your head. You can even clip it under your chin. Then you add your hair dryer to the end of this tube. And there's a little strap that actually keeps it attached. Uh, turn on your hair dryer and it works as a diffuser. You can do this if you have wavy or curly hair or even if you just wanna like work on other things while your hair is being dried, you can set this down on your bathroom counter. But the thing is there are holes through this tube. So a lot of the air escapes through the tube, which is what you want. So this is more like a, a kind of like a diffuser. It gets pretty hot in there. You can you know adjust the temperature settings on your hair dryer. If you wanna switch your hair dryer to cold, and again, blast it with cold air, that'll really set it. But if you have wavy, curly, you know, like natural, thick, coarse hair even, and you want less frizz, you should try this. But back to your hair being too crunchy and kind of wet looking from the hair gel. So the easiest way to instantly fix this is to actually take some hair oil. You don't need too much, just add some drops to your hand and then re-scrunch your hair and it instantly takes away the crunchiness. There's something in the oil that actually counteracts that gel cast that is over top of your hair shaft. And it just instantly makes your hair look so much more movable and, and beautiful beautiful and just like really naturally curly. Okay, so another trick with this thing, say you don't have curly or wavy hair, but you just want some volume at the top of our head. I feel like that is the dream. I have so much hair that it's actually really hard for me to do this because it just weighs it down at the top of my head, but you should get some rollers or like hair curler roller thingies and you can just put it on the top of your head like you're seeing here. And a lot of times you have to like, waste a lot of time for those to set. Insert this thing, put this over your head and, and have it on for, I don't even know, like three, four minutes. Again, it heats up inside and it sets those rollers and then you can take it down and you instantly have like a blowout. Like my goodness, this works again so well. Moving right along, let's talk about aloe. So I want to explain what you could try and I have mixed thoughts about it. And then I also want to offer what I think would be maybe just a better option. Um, but if you're interested in trying aloe gel, like the, the, the gooey, goopy aloe from a plant on your hair, it can really help to hydrate your hair. So I'm going to explain how to do this if you happen to have an aloe plant or you could just go out and buy like a stock. Uh, but okay, so here's the plant you're seeing. Uh, this thing is so wonky, it is so weird. It's actually from my assistant Katie, shout out to her, like it was her grandmother. She brought it over to me to like try this out. So I cut off a few stalks. Um, basically what you do is you can cut it up into chunks. You have to remove the spiky sides. So you just like remove those. And then you're gonna wanna soak the, the chunks in water for at least 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, maybe even longer. And then once that's done, you're going to cut them in half and then, you know, scrape out the, the gooey stuff and put it into a bowl. And then you're left with just like, it looks like snot. It's just like gooey aloe vera gel, um, but it's all natural. And then you can get in the shower, wash your hair first, and then you can put this over top of your hair and leave it on there while you're doing the rest of your things in the shower. And it's like this natural way to really increase the hydration of your hair. I mean, if, if, if you get burnt by the sun, it's really good for our skin, for hydration. Some people eat this, it's good for hydration from within. And so it totally makes sense that it would be great for our hair. And while I do think it works, Oh my gosh, was it, it was such a long process. It's really hard to get enough 
aloe gel out of the stalks, especially for me, because I do have a lot of hair. So it was just like a whole process. So again, if you want to try this, I do think it works, but I guess I would say if you want to add instant hydration to your hair, you need to try the Hydrate Hair Mask by Vegamore. I had no intentions of even putting this in the video, like at all. Like I was gonna talk about the hair serum and that was it, but it just makes sense because after using all of that, the whole aloe thing, like this is so much easier to instantly add hydration to your hair after one use. So I literally pulled it up on the website because it, I mean, it says it delivers up to 15 times hydration and makes your hair strands three times stronger after one use. So this is the hair mask, but they also have the shampoo and conditioner, which I love. I always just keep this in the shower. Again, I think the, the shampoo and conditioner gives you eight times hydration after the first use. And that's just what I noticed when they launched this last year. Like when they sent it to me, like the first time I used it, I could tell my hair looked better, it felt better, it was shinier, it just felt more hydrated. So if you feel like you have really coarse hair or dry hair, I, I genuinely think this will help you. But another hack that I discovered, like I, I thought of this on my own. If you take this hair mask, it says you can put it on damp hair from root to ends and then you can rinse it. I actually like to put it on dry hair and then whip this bad boy out and put it over top of your hair. And again, this heats up and it's kind of like a spa experience where like heat kind of infuses the moisture and the hydration even better. So again, you can use my code, you know, Shea for 20% off these if you wanna give them a try. Another hair product or products that I really enjoy using um, when I get out of the shower, my hair's really wet. I, I've, I've talked about microfiber hair towels before. So there's that, that's nothing really new, but piggybacking off of that, I also really like the microfiber hair scrunchies. So sometimes I'll get out, my hair will be wet and I'll actually put it up in a bun with this scrunchie that it kind of feels like a towel. It's really, really big and stretchy. So it holds all of my hair. It kind of works to absorb the wetness while it's up in a bun. It just, I don't know, it, it works really well. I probably don't need it. This is probably one of the things like of the video that I really don't need, but I just really like it. The sun is just coming in and out today, but if you are somebody that likes to use hair clips, maybe you have a lot of hair or maybe you just keep buying them because I mean, they just break all the time. The reason I ended up ordering this is because it's literally known as the unbreakable hair clip. It is so strong in the way it's designed, I guess. It also holds a lot of hair. I mean, you can see here, I can actually use these clips and it holds all of my hair. Another genius product you should try if you haven't already, I'm sure some of you may have heard about it, but it's using like a tool for heatless curls. Um, and so this is what I feel like you may have seen around. I'm going to demonstrate it here for you. But if you don't want to buy this, I totally get it. There's other ways you can get the exact same results. So you can actually use a pair of leggings and you just roll the top here, roll it the whole way down and you can stick it on top of your head. You could also use like a robe sash, like that would work. But I do think it's easiest if you have like this tube thing. Um, so you just actually can, you know, do this before bed. Uh, the purpose of it is you get beautiful curls without using any heat. So you just put this on the top of your head. I like to clip one side just so it doesn't move around. And then you just take sections, starting at the top front of your head and you just simply wrap it around the tube. You just go down, take a new section, wrap it around, then take another section, wrap it around and just like the whole way down. And then at the end, you just tie it off with a hair tie or a scrunchie. Then you can do the other side and it's actually not that bad to sleep with. I like to actually put this silk or satin bonnet over top of it. And then, you know, I'll get ready for bed. I'll like wash my face and whatever. And this really kind of keeps everything in place. It also helps to reduce frizziness. Even if you don't want to use this whole like heatless hair curl thing, it's still a, not a bad idea to sleep or at least try sleeping in something like this if you're not a fan of silk or satin pillowcases. Um, this will keep your hair so smooth and shiny and less frizzy uh, just because of the texture. And this one uh, is reversible. It's really pretty and cute. Again, very, very affordable. But if you don't want to, you know, sleep in this in your head, again, I'm telling you guys, this is insane to me, but it works so well. You can put your hair up in the heatless curls like I just showed you, but oh, I didn't even tell you. 
rewind, make sure you dampen your hair just a little bit first. That'll make a big difference in how your curls hold up throughout the day. But anyway, put the heatless curl thing in your hair, get this thing out again, and then turn it on and have it go for maybe like five minutes under the, the heat and it speeds up the entire process so you don't actually have to go to bed and sleep on it. And I know that this is some heat, but let's be real. This is not like a curling iron, 400 degree heat, like ruining your hair shafts over time. Do you know what I mean? This is just some heat to kind of speed up the process and voila, here you go. Like these are my amazing curls with this method. Again, and it works really quick like this, or you can sleep in it and reveal the, the curls the next morning. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really think there's some interesting, unique things in it for you to try. If you wanna try Vegamore, definitely recommend this. I'll have them linked down below. Again, use my code SHAY for 20% off site-wide. Everything else will be linked down there as well. Please subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.